I work with Universal Robots every day. I work with Mirror Robots every day. I see them in America throughout my day to day. I never knew that they came from Denmark. When you live in America, you think everything in America is the highest of quality, but this has completely changed my perspective and shown me that there is great opportunity elsewhere. We believe that we have here in Odense knowledge about technologies within the most important disciplines in robotics. Modeling and simulation of robot systems, digital twins, planning of robot movements, its control of robots, computer vision, human-robot interaction. And we are also deep involved in all the application domains, industrial, medical and welfare. I'm Henrik Gordon Petersen, professor and head of section for SDU Robotics here at the University of Southern Denmark. I'm coordinating the International Summer School in Robotics. I wanted to come here, one, because I've never been to Denmark before, and I just thought it was a great opportunity to meet other students from around the world. I've never been considered an international student before, so I think this was cool. And just being here has made me realize that, wow, like there are innovative hubs and environments focused on technology outside of Silicon Valley. We are aiming at students at the fourth year, potentially first year PhD. The level is high, so they will be challenged, but if they are good students, they will be able to cope with it. The students will, in addition to the educational course, they will also have tours to meet robotics companies in the, in the cluster, particularly surrounded here in, in Odense, but also in Denmark. I believe that the good part of doing such a, a event, summer event here would, uh, would be that they can see the potential that is here in, in Odense and in Denmark. It's difficult for foreign just to see and imagine actually that a small country like Denmark actually has created so many interesting uh, robot companies. Coming to Denmark for the first time, I found so much more than I ever expected. I Traditionally, I would just think about Danish uh, breakfast pastries and stuff like that. And I, my mind has been absolutely blown by the amount of support. Uh, I think that was one of the, the key selling points for me is that they were going to be drafting students from all over the world. It's really important that we keep on attracting a lot of talented people for the companies, the robot companies and the automation companies and the drone companies. It's very important that the universities in Denmark keep on investing in educating uh, talent and a, and a very large pool of talent uh, for these companies. I also like the research atmosphere here at SDU. The professors the, the, who are teaching us in the summer school, they are very much competitive and very well aligned with global research efforts that are happening in robotics. I met the professor for the first time on the roof of the hotel, you know, in this, this social ambiance. And then the next day is when I actually saw him giving a lecturing class. These, the relationships you can have between the professor and, and people outside of school, it blends really smoothly. I think uh, Odense and the companies in the robotic cluster are having success in getting international workforce to work here because it's robotics. But I think that is why people are putting a, an eye on, on Fyn. Just in this week and being surrounded by the students every day, uh, having conversations with them and learning about their backgrounds has changed what I think about my own career and academic path. Before I really wasn't sure what to do and felt kind of lost in a sense, but hearing them and they have a lot more experience than I do has made me think that I would like to pursue um, postgraduate studies like a, a master's or a PhD in computer science. I do see it as a, as a good path for me.